Hello everybody and welcome back to Nuclear Throne Ultra. So, just going to be a regular uh, Nuclear Throne Ultra stream today. I did want to talk about some stuff about the channel though. Nothing too major, it's mostly just we may be seeing less uh, Nuclear Throne, Nuclear Throne Ultra on this channel in the future. I am getting a tad bit uh, burnout just doing this as my main series. And I know that's what a lot of a lot of my subscribers came from was Nuclear Throne and Nuclear Throne Ultra. My most most viewed videos on this channel, for the most part, uh, RimWorld has been per doing pretty good lately, have been Nuclear Throne. So I do want to still honor that to an extent for as long as I still feel like playing the game. However, there may be days where there aren't Nuclear Throne uploads. I'm going to be trying some new stuff. So yeah. Might be a weird time for content for a while. I'm gonna figure out uh, mostly what I like to do and something I could potentially do on the same level I've done Nuclear Throne. RimWorld might be that one, but it also might not. Uh, I'm gonna try and experiment with a lot of things. It's nothing new. I had this same sort of uh, situation when I played uh, VR chat stuff on this channel exclusively. If you're a really, really OG member of this channel, you may remember back in the old Discord server I used to have that I, uh, I did exactly that with the Arshad. Only then I... I took it way more seriously than I honestly needed to. I was, like, asking my 12, uh, Discord users in the server, hey, would you guys be okay if I did stuff other than, uh, then VR chat. Shit, this isn't the point where I had, like, personally talked to most of my subscribers. That was a fun little, like, uh, YouTube fact for a while. I had at one point when I was doing Ask VRC, uh, I had talked to a good percent of the people who subscribed to my channel. <clears throat> now that I'm nearing out about, uh, 200 subs, though, that's obviously not the case. This goddamn sewer. So yeah, Nuclear Throne's still gonna be a thing. Uh, I wouldn't expect a, a change in content radically soon. I've still gotta figure out what I wanna do. RimWorld's gonna remain a secondary series for the most part, but if I do find uh, a game that I'd actually very much like to start doing content on, uh, we may see that, and Nuclear Throne might go to like every other day, or a couple times a week, you know. So yeah, sorry about that. If you love the uh, the daily uploads of Nuclear Throne, I know I didn't get a, I didn't get one up yesterday. Confusing on the timeline because uh, I I always do these a day in advance. <clears throat> so I always have to stop for a second and be like, wait, when is this coming out? Of course, if I have a, a YouTube snafu, it might not be out for two days. Or, fortunately, uh, I'm going to be coming into a little bit of money soon. Nothing nothing crazy. I'm getting my tax return for the work I did this year. So I might be able to snag a couple new games. I might be able to do something new for once. And I won't spoil what I've had in mind. But, uh, yeah, that's the big takeaway. Expect new stuff. Oh god, wrong direction. Yeah, if I ever do stop doing the Nuclear Throne altogether... I would probably try and do something big first. Like one last good one last good send-off the series that uh basically got me back into YouTube in the first place. And is responsible for a good majority of the admittedly small popularity that I found myself in. Hmm. 
No, no crown at the moment. That was a... That was a sick freaking shish kebab, alright. A split seeker pistol. I'm gonna stick with the jaw splitter for now. I do love my bolt weapons. And even if I get a little burnout, it's it's like it's it's fucking impossible for me to dislike this game. Even if I played this all day, every day, for the amount of time that I've been doing this for YouTube. I still couldn't hate Nuclear Throne. It's just such a good game. Doubly so for the Ultramod. Oh boy. Alright, come on. Let's rumble, big dog. Venus wins by doing barely anything. Fun fact about that, you know the Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing? My dad did that a long time ago, when the, before that was ever a meme. One of my favorite games from my childhood was Mario Party 3. And that's a game you have to play with people. Or CPUs, uh... But if you've played Mario Party, it's not the most fun to play against computers. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, N64 Mario Party especially. Well, my dad would play with us sometimes. Being the good sport he was, he was never much of a video game guy. However... There was this one game, it was like you were in an ice rink and there are the spiky Koopa shells all around you. And he just sat there and he didn't get hit at all. And I was just, we were just blown away. Me and my younger sibling were like, wow, dad, how did you do that? You know, thinking my dad was like this Mario Party god. And he's like, oh, you know, sometimes uh, no movement is better than movement. And... The more that I think about that now as an adult... I think he was just like, Dude, there is no way I can keep up with this. Like, I can't do that, I'm just gonna sit here. And if I lose, I'm gonna be like, Ah ha ha, you kids won. And it just happened to work out for him, so... <laughs> so he just made something up on the spot, like, Oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. I, that's still one of my... Damn it. One of my favorite stories. Uh, yeah, he didn't... He wasn't... Oh, God damn. He wasn't much of a gamer. Uh, apparently neither am I. God damn. Yeah, there were two skulls. Two skulls. Read that on the loading screen. There were two games he would play with us back in the day. It was Mario Party 3 and Pokemon Stadium. He could beat me at Pokemon Stadium. Granted, I was like, I was like six, so you know, I wasn't much of a force to be reckoned with. But that was like, I was impressed. Still am. I remember he really liked uh, Kabutops, the Pokemon. Power craving, yes. Loves me my weapon mods. You know, you want to talk about, like, video game lines that are burned into your brain forever? Pokemon Stadium. That one is just, ugh. What's the matter, trainer? He's finally taken down. Man, I, um, uh, I lost my childhood N64. Uh, I don't know what happened. I think my older sister might have sold it, like, without our permission. She at one point was talking about, oh, I'm going to trade it for a PS2. And I'm like, uh, dude, we already have a PS2. She's like, yeah, but one of the slim ones that's good and 
Can I be the first to say that the Slim PS2 was not good? Uh, the one thing I remember about the Slim PS2, because we never got it. I don't think she ever traded it. It's either, like, she just sold it, or, like, maybe even my parents got rid of it one day. I don't even know. I don't know what happened to it. The one thing I remember about the Slim PS2 is that my friend had... Or friends, I suppose. They had the same issue, where the disc tray wouldn't stay closed. And you had to put something on top of it to get it to work properly. Just so the disc tray would read as closed and it would spin and read the disc. Oh, I shouldn't be using this in here. No, I'm gonna try and shoot a, shoot a frog with this. I'm gonna... That was a problem for myself. There was that that would happen. Remember we also had an Xbox. It was a modded Xbox. I didn't even know what that was. I think my friend referred to it as a plagiarism Xbox. Which I just think is hilarious. But the thing was, it wouldn't work. It would work, but it wouldn't open the disc tray. Unless you, like, gave it a good whack on top of the system. You had to, like, give the top of it a, top of it a good smack. For it to even open, so you could put a new disc in. And that just became a very normal and accepted thing to do in my house. I have distinct memories of my friends coming over, seeing me, like, slap the top of the Xbox and be like, what are you doing? I'm like, well, what, yours, yours doesn't do this? Ooh. That was a cool Xbox, though. I think we still... No, no. We probably don't by now. But it was a, it was a modded original Xbox that, uh... That had an emulator on it, I think. Yeah, yeah, it definitely did. I don't know if it was the disc that contained the emulator or the console itself. I don't. I didn't know how this thing worked. I was a kid. My dad got it from a guy he referred to as Wizard Tom, who was probably just some random guy I knew from work, but. To me as a kid, he may as well have been a wizard. Oh my god. New weapon. Wait, no, not bomb launcher. I don't want that. Crown vault. Let's go. We've got power craving. Does that? Yes, it does. Let's see. Would you want weapon drop? Or I would like splinter on my splinter crossbow. Whoa. Wasn't expecting that. I could have gotten rid of the cursed weapon this way, but I, I kind of don't want to. You know what I'm here for, guys. You know what I'm here for. See, I will take long arms, so. though. I love melee weapons in this game. Just honestly. And that's the thing, there's still... Like, I still gotta play this game in some capacity. There's still so much stuff I haven't seen. When I did that one favorable build mode... Or the multiple, anyway. And I saw the, uh... And I saw the room where you go, and it shows all the stuff you've done that you have to do to loop over. Oh, God damn it! I was like, no, there's a lot more to this game that I have not seen. 
even vanilla nuclear throne. But I, I found Ultramog and I fell in love with it, so you know. That became my new main squeeze. I want power craving again, please. Please, man, just one power craving. Yeah, I believe I remember the first console I got that was really... really my own and not like a hand-me-down. I got an Xbox 360 with Black Ops as my first game. I think we also got Connect Adventures too, and oh boy. Did we as a generation just not get so conned when it came to the Connect? Yeah, power craving. Let's go. It's just like... It seemed so cool in concept. Uh, Fruit Ninja Connect, though. Fruit Ninja Connect was a god. Sure, you were just flailing around like an idiot, but that was half the fun. Whoa. Oh god, more. Yes, this is your bad day. Sorry, I'll see myself out. Okay, yeah, let's get some throne butt. And we do have... We do have power craving, so... Never mind. Never mind. We're, we're just gonna die instead. Whoa. Got impatient. Got impatient. I love the weapon mod mechanics so much. Because you've got so many shit tons of... Today is a good day. Today is a good day. You can have so many weapons already in this game, just so goddamn many, it's impressive. And then there's infinitely more customizing with all the weapon mods. Speaking of weapon mods, you guys remember Fallout 4? Not even not even just the game, but I mean the goddamn hype around it when it came out. Like, that came out when I was in high school. And I remember uh, ditching class to sit in the bathroom and watch the Fallout 4 trailer. Dear God, man. And that'd be my question. I'd like to do a question of the day, but I'm incredibly scatterbrained and I'd probably forget. So I'll just say question of the interval of time. What game had you that hyped? Like where you were in a similar situation of I absolutely wherever I am be damned. I need to see this trailer or play this game or whatever. I've got to say, a uh, few games have had me that hyped since. I, w I was really hyped for uh, Limbus Company. However, uh, it was good. I'll, I'll say that, but it wasn't as amazing as I thought it would be. I would... Damn it. Any day of the week, though. I would get that hyped again if Project Moon released something new. 
if you don't know, they're the guys who made uh, Lobotomy Corporation, Library of Ruina, and uh, Linda's Company, obviously. They make such unique and uh, interesting games, and I love their world building. I'm a fucking huge world building nerd. I've done some projects myself. If I'm really lucky and I follow my passions, you may see them one day. However, that day is not today. I'm a chronic, chronic procrastinator with a lot of things. It's just, it's, it's just such an interesting setting. Love that stuff. We'll say I like uh, I liked I like Lobotomy Corporation more, and that's a game I need to play on this channel. Love of God, that was a uh, I used to play that on Twitch. It was one of the few games that were like really got me views. That and Fallout New Vegas. Which I wish I still had the stream for. I've probably said this before, but... I have my own uh, lost media, quote-unquote. Whoa, shit. Oh, my God. I have streams I did that are no longer... Uh, they weren't archived, and you, you can't find them anywhere. I didn't back them up or put them on the VOD channel. I don't even think the VOD channel existed at that point. I think the first thing on my VOD channel was uh, Late Night Lob Corp. Which was... One of, but not the... Not the stream that started my... Started my my streaming career. I think the first one I did was Death Road to Canada. Which just, uh, actually nobody saw that. And I, don't, I don't say that to complain. But I had zero Twitch followers. Was playing a game that was not relevant at the time. And no one just happened to cross it, so... <laughs> nobody saw it. I do remember, though, thinking one of my friends was in the audience, because they were my best friend at the time, and I saw that I had one viewer, but I don't know, I think Twitch might just do that, or Streamlabs might just say you have one viewer, because I don't recall them ever speaking in the chat, and I addressed them by my friend at the time's name. The shotgun is nuts. And I figured, oh, they were probably there, they just didn't respond, and then they later told me, they're like, no, Retro, I wasn't in the stream. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I was like, oh. The other thing people occasionally watched was, I was, and this was an absolute crackhead idea. I don't know why I tried to do this. I was gonna 100% the game, Tower Unite. I still do play it occasionally and think about it, but like... That's just such a huge game to complete. Whoa, oh, whoa. Get out of here, get out of here. Holy crap, dude. Thank God for Crown of Life. But I guess I could just say all the time. Absolute jackass. Charge flag. No thank you. Please be the last one. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But everything has been rebalanced compared to retail. Oh god, oh god.
This shotgun has been kicking some ass, man. <laughs> It's weird, it's been like, maybe a day since I did any uh, nuclear throne. But it feels like such a long break. I know just that one day I was like, eh. Look, I'm kind of in a mood. I don't want to play uh, nuclear throne today, I've already got Rimworld going up tomorrow. I can just do that, I'll hit my daily upload quota. And then there was a snafu with the upload and it went up at like, 2 in the morning. And I was like, well, that still counts as being uploaded today. Because at that point, I was just like, whatever. It's not going to change when it was uploaded to private it and then set it to re-release then. Oh my god. You... I can't believe you've done this. Where's the... Oh, it's a maggot nest. Bro. Maggots are the grossest thing. Ugh. I've already mentioned I hate bugs. I don't hate them, like, on a personal level. They're just very gross to me. I oh my god. I can just say, I'm very glad I don't live in the world of Nuclear Throne. Not even just because I would get shot, but because there's, like, there's giant insects. If I lived in the same world as scorpions that big... Ah, oh man. No, no thanks. That's unfortunate. Frost pistol. Oh. Power craving. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Is this? No, it's not affected by it. Short gun. I, I'm so on the fence about it. I like it. But it's, uh... It's just not the greatest. That short range really does hurt it. Especially because I feel like the shotgun got a buff in terms of range. And now it's just way more effective because of that. Not even to mention the micro shotgun. A grenade revolver. No thanks. Explosions and I are not on terms. That is until the Gatling Slugger appears, and I seem to lose all of those reservations. Take us to the Inverted, or the Ultra, or whatever it's called. Let me see. Well, I would like uh, Crown of Life. But I'm going to take Second Stomach. I think that's a better... Uh, Sort of survival out of mutation. Whoa! Oh no. Oh, that's really not good. That is pretty good, though. Oh god, oh god. Please, not when I'm this close to the weapon mod. Okay, what do we got here? Frost? What's the trop gun? What's it? Kraken? I'll take a Kraken weapon. As long as it's not an actual Kraken weapon. Oh 
Yeah, that's pretty good. Golden, golden pop rifle. Is it any better? It says it's tier 17. Ooh, but it does drop more. Wait, I shouldn't be using that as my secondary. Yeah, because they both use bullets. I'm just double wasting ammo now. Or very really strong both from the same pool. Gotta love second stomach. Not even the greatest mutation out there, but just one of my favorites all around. Please don't be a bullet weapon in that chest. It is. But you know I'm gonna take it. Really don't want to go to the volcano. However... Whoa! Oh, god damn it. No, this is not where the crown vault is. I, I, I actually skipped where the crown vault is. All right, let's go. I'm gonna need this, actually. It's actually really good to have here, just so you can blow up those goddamn fire spouts. We're careful. Spend our time wisely. And make good use of alien intestines when it pops up. I don't want to go in there. No, thank you. This is bad enough vanilla or regular. It's getting hot in here. So, kill those frivolous creatures. Oh my, I, re I remember when everybody used to sing that goddamn song. At least in my circle, because I don't know when it was released. It could have been way before my time, for all I know. Whoa! Okay. I really don't want to have to use Last Wish. Sorry, Mr. Crown Vault statue. That, that wasn't intentional. You know I'd never do you dirty like that, man. Whoa. Yeah, dunk on. I'm out of here. Let's see, what do we want to... Uh, rabbit paw, definitely. <laughs> Director Plasma Gun. I don't want that. Explosive. <laughs> what if we got explosive on this twice? It probably wouldn't do anything. Let me... Get that on the Trop Gun. Explosive Kraken Frost Trop Gun. Now with Crown of Life, because I love that thing. Oh, weapon mods are OP. This is just a... It shoots three bullets. It's a triple pop gun. That's why it's called the Trop Gun. Well, mystery solved. Oh, goddammit. it. 
What the fuck is all this? Ain't dead yet. Not yet. And hopefully, not anytime soon. Oh boy, so we want power craving. Tough shell. I should have gotten a uh, rhino skin. Or bolt marrow if it was if it was at all possible. Whoa. That's not cool, sir. I don't have alien intestines anymore. Which you would think would be a good thing, because that sounds rather medically concerning. at eight. And I will take open mine. Oh, I don't have strong back anymore. That's not good either. That, that was a little foolish. Just a teensy bit. That's okay. We got time for one more good run. This was good, though, all things considered. Just like... Just a classic old uh, nuclear throne run. A nuclear throne ultra, anyway. Whoa. The only problem half the time is figuring out what to name these. Because I'm going to name them and think of a thumbnail. I could just use a template. Like I did with my uh, RimWorld videos. But at least for this, uh... I'd rather not. It was initially... Still kind of is. It's pretty fun coming up with the uh, what the thumbnail is going to be this time. Oh my god! Whoa! Okay, here's Kraken pistol. It's going to have to do. Well, that's embarrassing. Oh. It happens. Shish kebab. There we go. Oh. second stomach. That sounds lovely, thank you. I don't know about in real life. My stomach for its regular size oh, God damn you, is hard enough to keep full. I'm one of those skinny people that's like constantly hungry. Oh my god, man. Young Venus is the best, and I will hear nothing to the contrary. Get uh, alkaline saliva. That's a pretty good one. Oh. 
blood pistol. I don't really like this thing. It just feels like I'm spitting on them. It may block bullets, but I'll, I mean, like... If you're gonna get a blood weapon, get a triple blood rifle. God damn, man. That's not... It's, it's such a cool weapon, but it also sounds like something an edgy 14-year-old would equip their uh, OC with. That's like, uh, his name's, um, Blood Rage, a variant of Young Venus's species. His weapon, the Triple Blood Rifle. Oh. I'm nobody to talk shit. I have my own original characters I've made for things, but I mean... I also don't post them on the internet because... I, I don't know why I would. I do occasionally draw, I just... Uh, I don't have enough confidence in that sort of stuff to post it to the internet. And then of course I'm surrounded by people who draw amazingly and are constantly saying, my art is so bad, and I'm like, dude, no. No. Your art is not bad. And then they'll try and say, like, oh, but, uh, Retro, your art is good. It's good. And I'm like, no, no, really, it isn't. They're like, well, now you understand how we feel. And I'm like, buddy, you can't compare my shitty doodles and not even knowing what shading is to, like, you not realizing you have skill. It's frustrating, but honestly, I get it. It's, it's like a creator thing. I mean, with a lot of stuff I make, I have a hard time believing uh, when people say they like my content. I don't know why. I guess it helps keep me humble, if nothing else. Oh my god. Camera swing. Making me dizzy. Oh, damn it. He got a martyrdom. Or an afterlife. Which is it called again? No, it's Afterlife. Martyrdom is the Death Street. Which honestly was, like, the best, uh, implementation to Call of Duty for people like me. Because I am bad Call of Duty. I got better as I got older, but when we were kids and we played, like, multiplayer COD, I would... Oh my god, couch co-op multiplayer was the worst for me. Purely because I would just get my ass handed to me over and over and over again. But we all... We all have that. We all have that one game... What That one game... Where your friends are just better than you at it. Like, I know some people who talk about, like, fighting games, like Mortal Kombat. And they're like, oh, I hate playing fighting games with my friends because you'll just always beat me. I don't know, part of me, I would hate to, uh... I'd hate to play a game with a friend that I'd always win at. Because I would be under the impression of, like, Okay, there's no way they're enjoying themselves. It's like, this is just me kicking their ass over and over again. What the hell is... That little... You stole from me!
Damn it, indeed. Well, that's probably going to be the end for this one. So, in any case, thank you guys all for watching. Not just this video, but all the nuclear throwing I've done. Even if I am going to be trying to move away from it just a tiny bit, I can't deny. This has been, this has honestly just been a ton of fun. And the the success that I've got from this, I, I, would, I was not expecting. I, I, was not, I was not expecting anytime soon to have a video break a thousand views, let alone have two, almost three do that in the period of about like a month and a half. So honestly, I, I said it before and just thank you. Thank you so much. This has been one hell of a ride. In any case, uh, I'll try and keep you guys posted what we're planning on doing. And wherever you go, whatever you do, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.